Didn't you have to spend endless hours in your room practicing this guitar to become a virtuoso, which you are? I used to spend 12 hours a day. There was so it a does period take 12 hours a day. Right. Right. It's, not, it's not because you, I mean, for me personally, it's not because, you know, you go, okay, it's, it's whatever time, 9 o'clock in the morning or something. I start now. And then there's a lunch break, and then I get done. No, that. you were a kid who was you obsessed were, with yeah. guitar. I was obsessed, yeah. yeah. So right. every, every waking moment I spent with the and guitar. And what was it that inspired you? I mean, what was it that said, it made you say, I want to play the guitar? So, um, it's a long story. I, I, what happened was Steve Adler, the original drummer for Guns N' Roses, he and I met when we were about 13. And we started, we basically ditched the 7th and 8th grade together and just... Uh, we're best friends, and he had a guitar, a little cheap guitar, electric guitar, and uh, a cheap little amplifier, and he had a little turntable, and he used to crank Kiss, you know, as 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 loud as it would go, and then turn the amp up, and he didn't know how to play, but he would just bang on it. <laughs> and it was the excitement of that that did that, started that whole sort of, um, you can imagine, teenage thing, where it's like, oh yeah, we gotta start a band. Do right? you think that you had exceptional musical talent, or was it this unbelievable dedication to practicing? I think, no, I think, uh, basically, I was raised, you know, raised on a lot of music because my parents were in the music business and I loved rock and roll from the minute I could remember. Um, and then when I actually picked up the guitar and put those, re realistically, three notes together that make a, a rock lick, that have that rock sound to it, right. I had a, a knack for it. I did you did you ever it. take a professional lesson from a teacher? I tried to, yeah. yeah. And, and it didn't work? didn't work? Well, well what happened is, is I had this guy, what, when I started, what I was getting out with Steve was he was going to play guitar and I was going to play bass, right? So I went to a local music school that was in the neighborhood. And uh, I went in there without an instrument, and I said, I want to learn how to play bass. And the teacher was like, well, do you have an instrument? I said, no. So he started talking to me about trying to get into my head about what I knew about music, where I was headed, what I wanted to do. And while he was talking, he was strumming the guitar, you know, and playing some Hendrix licks. Yeah. I said, that's what I want to do. And, and did you and ever learn how to formally read music? Not, not very much. You know, I mean, I started out with the basics. He, when I was in the music school, he sort of taught me some rudimentary stuff that was really handy. You know, I learned how to... Uh, string a guitar because my first guitar only had one string <laughs> and uh, Is um, it mostly is it mostly by ear that you played even with Guns N' Roses like you would hear something in your head And then you would just try to figure it out well, on the yeah, guitar. It, was, it started, you know It starts out like piano lessons scales, you know you, You're trying to read music, right? And that didn't sound anything like what I wanted to do So I I, I noticed that he could listen to any song that I would give him and he could pick it up and learn it from by ear and I said I can do that and that's a, and I quit school and I went and did it on my own. So if you need to learn a piece of music, you just listen to it. Yeah, yeah. And so when we're writing stuff for say any number of bands that I've been in, or I go and do a session with any number of artists, I just go in and do it by ear. The only person that I went in and worked it worked with that I had to do. Uh, Let me guess, Michael Jackson. No, Ray Charles. Ray he Charles. wanted you to what? Read well, music? He, well, he, no, he. I had to read chord charts. You did, yeah. And which, was that difficult? It was. It was. You know, Ray Charles chord charts are not like anybody's chord charts. These are right. very. Comp the reason I had to read the chord charts was to actually remember how many all the different chords because there's so many and they're all jazz chords, which I hardly ever use. So and, when you went into a session with Michael Jackson, let's say he would play you a piece of music and say, "Hey, Slash, see what you can do with this." Yeah, he would give me um, an arrangement, and then he would go, you know, do whatever you want, and he would leave.